So we're doing a after she's been hitting the head with a baseball bat. So what we're going to do is we're going to split the head here, separate it, and then taking her side jaw and creating it to be swollen and everything movement that looks like she's been the bat has been crunch, crunch, crunch. crunch. <laughs> and I'm going to show you that because after we do this, and we're going to go out and find somebody on the street. I'm going to break them. So this way we're going to put the two together to see if I did right. It's Absolutely. kind of like a test and a quiz. You know, they just don't do that to me. <laughs> so this is a two-part silicone. You can order this at Cinema Secrets online. And if you otherwise, you can still do this with dual glue, which is really a, a thickened regular latex, which we make molds out of. And then the fun starts to begin. We apply this on the skin, smooth out the edges, because you don't want the edges to look fake. And then we start separating it. Obviously, it hasn't keloided yet, it's still open, so we want to make sure we see the skin flapping, the movement. And this is medical adhesive, not super glue. Take the skin and keep bringing them together like this until it gets so tacky that when you lift it up, it doesn't move which you're going to see right now as I do it with this. And you take a powder, you can use any kind of powder that you get, anywhere you want, and that helps set it. And as you can see, this is already dry. This is Duo Glue, latex, okay? Same thing that this big bottle of latex is. The only thing is, this has a thickener in it, so it's a little easier. It dries a little quicker, but not much. I use this stuff because I like latex. You take a sponge, a regular sponge, pull it. Now it's uneven. Take this and dabble this over the area. And the reason why this does, this creates texture. As you can see, it's very little. You put on a couple layers. Now we're going to come over here and we stipple, stipple, stipple until it's dry. And we're going to keep on stippling it until it's really dry. And then we're going to start moving it and wiping it, making it look like it's even got a little more tears in it. See that? Pretty cool, huh? Now for the real secret, the painting tricks. That's the hardest part of anything that you're doing is the painting, because that's where the artistry comes in. First of all, we're gonna go into a little bit of a pink stone, very pink shade, called pink stone, which is a light mauve. Because this is what the inside of you is gonna look like. Very pinky, then I'm gonna add a little more pinky, real light pink again. flesh tones and again I gotta match it to her skin tone so that's the important part a little pinky in there now here I'm gonna be painting the skin part so we see that decoration because this is what's been folded from that baseball bat it's hit the head separated because it went and opens up but once it splits it starts bulking that's one of the most important things now you make it a little messy. You don't want it too neat right here because you're going to blend it later. So you kind of want to make a little extra mess in this little area right here. Okay? And then, then what I do is I just do little dots around and a little messy here more. What that does is it makes a blend as I'm going to come into now with the color tones. Never be afraid to use your fingers. What I'm doing is I put it down and then I blend it away. Blend it into the hairline. Blend it away. Okay, you can fan it out, you can move it out, but you want to get right in that edge. I like to do both, get double textures going on, because it's most important is to make sure you see the distress that's happening. You got to see decoration, you got to see different colors, multiple shades, because underneath that skin there's a lot of multiple shades, my friends. 
and I see how I'm kind of this is just like spraying this, really just spanning this right over the edging. That's why I wanted to get this over that color area. See what I'm doing? I want to down this start putting some blood area color in there. And then I will put the blood afterwards. Blood's got to be the last thing you want to do. As soon as you hit somebody in the head, right around the eye area, you're going to have broken capillaries immediately. So you definitely want to do some broken vein areas and capillary tears. It's real important because people would realize, oh my God, how'd that happen? Guess what? She got hit in the baseball bat. Now I'm going to grab a blue color, have it really thinned out, so I have this essence of glow. I mix it with alcohol, so it's really thin. Now I'm going to come over and put some texture and depth. People go, oh, that's disgusting. Because the bruising happens as well, immediately when you break the capillaries in the forehead area. Just a little the hint of the blue, starts adding to the bruising area. It starts really making it look just a little more gross, which I kind of like. And now what I'm going to do is called the bruise wash, okay? I'm going to use a very light green and yellow. Mostly yellow, a little bit of green. There we go. And again, I'm going to thin it out a lot because I don't want it too thick. Thin. And now I'm going to come over here. And now I'm going to do a little more wash all the blending, put all those colors together. Keep your eyes closed on this video. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to come back and do just a little bit of coloration around around the edge because I want to do it, cause a little optical illusion, kind of like shading, so it stands out a little. Now again, I'm going to go back with my blood color, put a little age color because it's got a little more brown to it. Just so I have, I'm going to use this for shading as well. So now I'm going to go in there, I'm going to go from both sides, I want this to be like as if it's been popped out, because when I put the light blood over that, the real blood, derby blood, I want it to stand out so it has some decoration. This is drying blood because it's a little darker and it'll start flaking in a matter of minutes. And what I'm doing with that is I'm gonna put that around the outside. Okay, open your eye for me. This is called eye blood. Oh boy. I know. Tilt your head up, look up, look it's up, okay look up. It's okay that I have contacts, right? Yeah, it's okay. Of that cut, and you can take this, you can take regular blood, and you can mix it with talcum powder to make it thick if you like. And you just got hit in the head with a baseball bat. Lovely. I'm dripping all over myself. <laughs> it's okay. When I would tell people that you were coming in for this, I would say, yeah, Molly wants to look like she's gotten hit in the baseball bat. And everyone would laugh because we know you, but why? Why was, what, what was your, because this seems kind of random. Well, that's exactly what it was, is that you asked me what would I want to have done, and I said, I immediately just thought in my head, I want to have something bloody and something gruesome done, and I thought, what's a good bloody gruesome thing? And I've already been stabbed in the neck, so I didn't want to be stabbed again. Didn't want to be shot, and I thought, baseball bat to the head. I don't know, maybe it's because of Jesus Hate Zombies and watching him carry around a baseball bat the whole time. But something about it just sounded like fun. And the second that it was in my mind, that's all I wanted. And now I have this, and now I feel as beautiful as ever. <laughs>